Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? It is, I don't know, what is it? It's Monday. It's Monday. Monday is not an exciting day, but it's Monday. What can I say? What can I do? I don't know. Let's make it a little bit more exciting. You make things more exciting for me. If you want to subscribe, that'd be really outstanding. Just help me help get me up to a thousand subscribers. It kind of fluctuates. You know, I'm around the 290, 91 mark. It goes up 290 and I'll wait for the sirens. Don't worry. I'll wait for you. Criminals. Unless it's a fire truck. Oh, it's an ambulance. Okay, it's kind of gone. Anyway, yeah, today is, uh, I don't know, my eyes are all twitchy and dry. I'm working all day, and I'm a little bit tired. But, yeah, today is August 19th, which means it is the day after Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day. But um, it's not an official holiday, though it should be. Okay, not really, but uh, I, do no I did notice that some other people on... Um, on YouTube also uh, kind of do their own uh, text chainsaw massacre uh, thing. I saw some reviews and uh, stuff like that. Um, I usually just watch the movie. Sometimes I'll watch the whole, all of them, like throughout the month, but uh, uh, some of them are just hell to get through. So I don't always do that. Maybe I'll watch like part two, three, maybe part four, if you want to call it part four, the next generation or whatever. Chainsaw 3D and, and the other one that's just called Leatherface, the backstory prequel one, they're just, no, uh, no, no. The remake's okay, and the prequel to the remake I actually really like, and I don't have a copy of the, um, the direct to, uh, sorry, the new sequel that is directly after, that takes place directly after, uh, well, it's it's a continuation from the first movie. Anyway, true fans know what movie I'm talking about. It, I think it was just called... I can't even remember what it's called. Was it just called Leatherface? Another one just called Leatherface? I can't remember. But it's not a bad bad movie. But I don't have a copy of that yet. And I'm not sure if you can actually get it in physical media. But, uh, but maybe you can. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. But uh, if I happen to see it somewhere, I'll definitely scoop it up. And then I'll have all of them thus far. Even the crappy ones. But... Uh, Strangely, no, this video is not about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I just got a few props. Not really props, but a couple of my uh, collectibles just in view here. Not even Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. It's a Fright Night shirt, actually. But, uh, well, that's always in my videos. But this is actually an unboxing video. And this is a double unboxing video. And this is kind of a cool, crazy thing. There's a store I go to once in a while. It's a chain store. I'm, I don't generally mention, like, the big corporate stores too much. But it's called... Uh, FYE, I guess it stands for For Your Entertainment, I'm assuming. But uh, they do have some collectibles there that I'll, I will pop in once in a while, like some NECA figures and, and things like that that I will check out. But uh, it gets a little bit pricey there, so I don't really go too often. But uh, it's not a bad place, I guess, for what it, for what it is. I think it used to be Sunrise Records, but don't, uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm going to put my glasses on for this and... Maybe wipe the gunk off the lens. But uh, does anyone, did anyone watch Text Chainsaw Massacre yesterday? Or anybody fans of Text Chainsaw Massacre? I imagine there are quite a few out there. Uh, comment below if you want, uh, and I'll get back to you and talk about that. Um, but this is, uh, like I said, it's an unboxing video. And it's for Creepshow. And the dude, can never remember what, what he's actually called. Because he's not, it's not like the, I don't know what he's called. But anyway, the prices on these were super cheap. That's why I got both of them. And this is the Wolfman. And you can see these are normally Canadian money, uh, about 70 bucks a piece for the these NECA figures, these type of NECA collectibles. But uh, I figure, I kind of smell weird because they got wet in my knapsack. So I'm a little bit pissed off about that. But the figures are okay. i just concerned about the box. Not that I hope it doesn't get like musty because I like to keep the uh, these guys. Uh, these. Anyway, that, sorry, there's the Wolfman. Yeah, I didn't even show him yet. But I like to keep the flaps and use them as, as backgrounds on my shelves. I just hope I can get the price tags off without. Uh... Stop. Hi, Lemmy. Gunner, leave Lemmy alone, please. But uh, <clears throat> I like to put them on background just so it's not just the back, sh the black uh, back of the shelf. It's actually got some. Some more depth to it makes makes it a little bit more interesting and more fun to look at. 
I'm going to start with the Wolfman figure. I only have a couple Wolfman figures in my collection. I'm not like a huge, huge fan of the, of the film, but I do enjoy it. And I do like its uh, historical merit. And, and a lot of things about that film were about werewolf lore came specifically from that movie. It wasn't part of the uh, werewolf lore history kind of thing. You, like I think uh, silver bullets or silver and stuff. I think that was incorporated in, into the Universal film. I think so. And also, um, I'm not sure, but I think the full moon thing might have something to do with it, but I'm not 100% certain about that. What you doing, Lemons? Mm -mm. Be on TV, look all cute. Or well, be on TV, be on the computer. People might be watching on TV. I usually watch YouTube on the TV, so maybe you are too. I don't know. But, uh, Let's open this up. I really hope I can get these stickers off. So let's cut open the sticker that seals the box shut. Since there's two, I'm going to go through them a little bit quick. Get my water out of the way. But, uh, oh, I'm stubborn. Oh. Well. So I'll rip the packaging open, not that it matters. Oh, because I'm a dummy and I was opening it backwards. But, uh, okay. Slide this out. Uh, on the floor. Cats will have fun with it. Yeah, we'll slide this out. And this is the background, just some trees, branches, and stuff. That will find its way into the trash because I have no use for it. But this is this is him in all his glory. Very detailed as NECA often is. They got the feet right. And let's take it together. Now this is done with wires. Of course, I, I got scissors this time instead of wire clippers and, because Lately, they've been doing it with elastics instead of the instead of wires. So they got the oh, it even comes with a stand. That's actually handy because now it'll free stand without flopping over. That's something they should have in all of them, but they don't, which is really weird. But they got his human feet in there. If you want to go the human route, the Larry Talbot route, and they got his Wolfman actually on the figure, but pretty detailed. Actually, that does look quite a bit like Lon Chaney. I have to say, it's well done. Two faces. One's kind of a... I don't know. The faces don't really look a, a whole lot different, to be honest, but I don't know. They look very similar, so I'm not sure what that's about. It's got his cane, which is kind of cool. The wolf cane. I like that. I like that addition. Now, it's with, with that cane in there, I'm almost... Uh, Deciding maybe I will keep him as uh, Larry since I got two figures already of him as the Wolfman. So, but uh, something to think about. And the bear trap. Let's see in the film. Interestingly, when uh, if you if you're familiar with the with the movie, one thing you'll notice when he transforms into uh, into the monster into the werewolf. Oh, that cut through the wire nicely. Um, he's wearing a tank top. So at some point, when he, after he changes, I guess he changes clothes too, because then he's got the, this uh, kind of jacket, or I guess it's more of a long sleeve shirt, button down shirt. He's running around in that. It's like, well, you had this, these clothes on, and now you're wearing different clothes. So did, did is the wolf intelligent enough to uh, change his clothes after he changes? Oh, it might be chilly out. I should probably put on a jacket. Or put on some sleeves. Okay, let me. As much as I love your company, I don't want you knocking over the camera. Okay, so actually that slipped off pretty easy. So let's get him out of here. Here he comes. I'm not going to pull out all the accessories and extra faces and stuff. I just pull up the figure and check out the detail and the articulation and things. We got a little 
little tan kitty here in my way, and now the other cat's here, and you're going to hear some growling and some swatting. Okay. The gunner's just going to go inside the box that's sitting under the camera, so you hold that. All right, stop moving. Thank you. Okay. Let's get him out of here. So, <clears throat> grab the wires that fell on the floor. <clears throat> so the kitties don't get them. But, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. So I don't get a lot of the Wolfman figures because <clears throat> they don't, uh, they're, they're very much the same through the, through them all because it's not really it's not really much change in them even in the sequels or the follow-up movies but it looks good though i mean the typical detail in the clothing that you find in NECA oh he's got a bum <laughs> it actually just looks like a bum it's kind of funny but uh it's got the usual detail you know in the clothes all the wrinkles and everything. I don't know why you're not focusing, but okay. Usually it's rare for one of the cats to be on the table while I'm doing this. Now they're both here. And I just don't want them to start fighting and knocking things over because they do that. But uh, the hands look good. The art It's got some good articulation, kind of what you'd expect from a NECA figure. And McFarlane, but I don't have, I don't find a lot of McFarlanes as much Lot of detail. The feet, uh, the feet don't bend in the, at the toes like some of them do, which I'm glad because they tend to fall over. My other, I have a, another uh, NECA figure, and he's actually glued into place now because he kept falling over because his feet would bend, and it was just kind of annoying. But it is a decent looking figure for what it is for uh, the Wolfman. I just wish it would focus. That would make things better. Maybe if I move out of the way. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but you get the idea. But the clawed hands look good. Even though they're blurry. But anyway, we'll move on to the next one. This stuff away from the kitty, from the kitties. What do you about this? Uh, I'll put it in here. There you go. You go there for now. Okay. Next one. Creep Show. I really do like this movie. I just want to make sure it doesn't smell like mildewy because then I ha I'll have to throw it away. But the figures are encased pretty much, so they're not going to get wet. But I like this. I like the packaging. I like the picture. Even that side's better. I might even keep that side and, and instead of using this side. That's kind of interesting. It's literally the figure posed, but it looks good. But that's uh, that's the figure in the box. It comes with a lot of stuff, actually. And I do have another uh, one of these figures, but it's a it's a Mego one, so it's not as well detailed, but it's still kind of cool. I still like it. But uh, all right, let's open it up. We run in here. Thirteen minutes. Okay. And well, the back is really cool too. Check out the back. Looks very similar to the DVD. I'm not going to read all that. Oops. Okay. It's there. background piece is uh, <clears throat> it's kind of like the, the booth you see in the cover the DVD cover it's still a little bit damp it got wet so I went to the movies the other night and I saw Grease I think I mentioned that in a video if anyone saw it the video I did the other day beer tasting video and uh mentioned it and this friday same theater jaws is playing so you know i'm not going to miss that 
So that should be exciting. I seen it on the big screen a few years ago at another theater, but uh, it's always so happy to see it again. But there it is out of the box. You can actually see you can see in the back. Uh, now I, from my my side, because the lights coming through, you can see the skeleton legs and everything. So I can't kind of looking forward to seeing what that's going to look like. quite a few things that come with this. But, uh, the wire go. Anyway, that will go into the trash. Let's see. Wired in. It's not even wired in. That's kind of <laughs> helpful. But is that the silk? Oh no, it just fell. Something fell. A piece of plastic. Okay, but uh, well, that's what it looks like. I want to see what these skeleton legs look like because they look kind of creepy through the uh, with the light behind it. Okay, yeah, it's kind of interesting since they're all skeletonized and mummified, so it's kind of cool looking. Instead of just being like just plain legs because they're covered with the cloak or whatever. I like this, that it's it's like material. It's not just plastic. Kind of adds to it. It's got some wire in it so you can pose it, I guess. The hands look cool. Got some good, decent art articulation. The hands look kind of ghoulish. Again, be nicer if it was focused, but I don't know why it won't focus. Because screw you, camera, that's why. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I like this. It comes down. You can replace the switch the heads. I don't know. I kind of like that head though. You know, it's blurry. What happened if I cover the light? Nothing. It's still blurry. But I think you get the idea. That's what the alternate heads look like. That's the regular head. One here with an eye with one eyeball. See. Anyway, sorry it's not focusing, but but it is what it is. And this is the other one. Doesn't really look a whole lot different than the one that's on there. I don't think. I don't know. I have to take a look. Yeah, the expression is slightly different, but they're not really a whole lot different. <clears throat> yeah, it's got the comic book, which actually actually is kind of like a comic book. See, it's and it opens up. I mean, it's just one page, but it's still kind of cool. It's comic book on the inside, and then. On the back, they're like little mini miniature creep show comics, like an ad for for them, I guess. Well, it's hard for me to see, but uh, <clears throat> and then a jack o' lantern, which has something to do with one of the stories, which is actually hollow, which is kind of cool. So there's that. And that noise you hear is the cat doing something. Please stop moving. Please. Okay, I think he's somewhat done. Yeah, And you can see that it's actually hollow. And it actually looks like an actual inside of a jack-o-lantern when they're carved. So that's kind of cool too. I don't want to lose, lose the pieces, but there we go. And I think this is the candlestick that he holds. Or a candle, anyway. That's kind of neat. It'd be kind of cool if they all had that same little stand that the Wolfman came with. That would just make things a lot easier. But anyway, this is just a 
unboxing video. It went a little bit long, but to be fair, I was unboxing two things, and I did go pretty quick with them because uh, I didn't want the video to go go on forever because I know how boring it can get <laughs> watching somebody open up some toys, thrown ass man opening toys and being excited about it. Well, I didn't sound that exciting because I'm kind of sleepy from work and getting up early. But anyway, if you watched it all the way, thank you so much. If you want to comment below, talk about some of the stuff you got or even talk about these or if you have these same figures and want to comment about them as well, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be outstanding. If you, Like I said, if you want to comment, if you want to like, do all those things, uh, please do that. And I tried my best to get back to everybody, which pretty much happens because uh, I like the comments, I like to comment back, and I like the banter. Anyway, um, hope everybody has a good and safe week. Uh, summer's slowly creeping up. Uh, it's almost September, which really sucks because I hate cold weather. But I uh, can't do anything about it, so oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until the next one, bye.